Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are starting our journey for the SC900 talking about zero trust methodologies or the zero trust model in particular. Uh, and this is super important because it really lays the foundation of the way we should be thinking about uh, all of the security that we're going to be doing within Azure. And actually, in any uh, cloud service providers, because the zero trust model is really uh, what is being adopted today. And we'll talk about why that is. So the zero trust model operates on the principles of trust no one and verify everything. So if you have malicious actors and they're being able to bypass conventional access controls and demonstrate traditional security measures, that's no longer sufficient. We need to come up with a new way uh, to protect ourselves. And so that's where uh, Azure or Microsoft in particular has come up with their version of a zero trust model called the Microsoft's zero trust model. And this is based on three principles and six pillars. So in the three principles, we have verify explicitly, uh, least privileged access, assume breach. For our six pillars, we have um, identities, endpoints, uh, an easier way of thinking about endpoints is just think of them as devices, apps, data, infrastructure, and networks. And I would say that if you wanted to put an emphasis on anything, it's going to be identities, which comes down to Azure AD. That seems to be um, the largest focus here in this entire course and to really ensuring the zero trust me methodology works. The zero trust model is not unique to Microsoft. GCP has its own uh, zero trust model. AWS has its own zero trust model, but the one here is just gonna really work for Azure, okay?